everyone. Today we have the pleasure of meeting Hobart High School student Zach Bator. Zach, could you please tell us a little about yourself? Hey guys, my name is Zach Bator, and I am currently a senior at Hobart High School. In general, I am a goof, but I take the things I am passionate for very seriously. Two of those things are education and wrestling. As for wrestling, I have worked very hard every year in high school. Now I am ranked number two in the state at 170 pounds, and I am planning to win a state championship at the pinnacle of the season. As for my education, I have earned a 4.61 GPA. I am at the top of my class, and I will be attending the University of Chicago to study math. However, my GPA and class rank were not the only things that guaranteed my acceptance into a great college. There is another piece of the college application puzzle that I, like every other student planning on going to college, had to face. That is the SAT. Being a Hobart Berkey all my life, I would love to give my own insight about SAT prep to other Hobart students. Thank you for sharing, Zach. So our topic today is Khan Academy. If you didn't know, Khan Academy is a nonprofit organization that was created in 2006 by an educator named Sal Khan. He created this site with one goal in mind, to create a set of online tools to help educate students. Khan Academy produces short lectures in the form of YouTube videos, and the site itself holds supplementary practice exercises and materials for educators. All of the resources on this website are available to all users. The website and its contents are provided in mainly English, but they are also available in other languages. Khan Academy has delivered over 1 billion lessons worldwide. 40 million students and 2 million teachers use this platform every month. Here at the School City of Hobart, we promote Khan Academy in all, for all sorts of purposes, such as getting extra help with the course, exploring their partnerships, such as NASA, Pixar, and the San Francisco 49ers, and also preparing for tests. If you have not done so already, please visit khanacademy.org and sign in with your school-provided Gmail account. Today, however, we are here to talk about using Khan Academy for the PSAT and SAT prep. The PSAT and SAT prep is very important. These tests are used to determine whether or not you can qualify for dual credit courses, so you won't have to waste your money and time while taking part in, a, in courses that you are interested in. Also, the PSAT and SAT help with scholarships and acceptances to colleges and university programs. Now I can go on and on, but instead, let's see what Zach would like to say. So Zach, what led you to Khan Academy to, for, for SAT prep? Opportunities. After receiving my SAT scores from a test I took during the semester entering junior year, I could only imagine my scores improving at most 100 points by the time I will be applying to colleges. But when I entered junior year, my English teacher advocated for using a website that gave an opportunity to learn SAT skills and take actual practice tests, Khan Academy. At first, I didn't really know how awesome that website was. I ended up using Khan Academy a ton since it gave me the ability to improve my score faster than I ever thought possible. I completely agree. The more opportunities you have, the more power you have. Your story is so inspiring. All right, so could you explain why Khan Academy is important? Because the better you perform on the SAT, the more college opportunities come your way. My teacher always stressed that you can save thousands of dollars or be accepted into a prestigious school by simply scoring high on a standardized test. Even though the SAT displays your skills during a single sitting, it is highly valued when the college admissions view your application. Therefore, why not try to improve your score as high as you can? You will save much more money. Khan Academy is a website that gives all students a chance to better themselves after high school. It has statistically helped high schoolers improve, and I am one of them. I think it would be fair to say that everyone would love to save more money. Zach, what, what is the cost versus reward of using Khan Academy? That is a good question. People understand that Khan Academy yields the reward of opening up college opportunities. But what is the cost of doing it? Money-wise, the website is free. I do not understand why others pass up a free way to set up their lives and actually save money. Time is the only thing that practicing costs. If one has the will and puts in the time on Khan Academy SAT practice, they will surely improve. In my case, I saw that the reward greatly outweighed the time that I would lose. That is understandable. Free is free, and who doesn't love free? True, time is super valuable, but is it an investment that will pay itself down the road? It takes a lot of maturity and perseverance to see the whole picture. 
If we had a choice, who wouldn't want to stay at home and watch their favorite shows? But the question is, why don't we take that chance? I believe the reason is that we understand the bigger picture. Now, Zach, please tell us a little more about Khan Academy and how it impacted you. The first time I took the SAT, I earned a 1270. I then began practicing on Khan Academy's website. In less than a year, I earned a 1370. That is a 100 point improvement. Then I practiced very diligently in the summer going into senior year, and I ended up getting a 1480. Basically, in only 15 months, I went up 210 points, but it took a large, yet well worth it, chunk of my time. As a matter of fact, according to an award Khan Academy sent me, it took at least 100 hours of my time. Well, as we learned since kindergarten, numbers don't lie. But could you be more specific? What was your plan when practicing? When I practiced, I first learned how the SAT is formatted. This helped me because when I took the SAT, I was aware of the, how the test works and what common questions it asks. The second thing I did was that I took a practice test to determine my current skills. After I saw where my weaknesses were, I planned to improve them. My weakness was reading. So I did a specific reading practice that Khan Academy provides. After I had practice on a lot of reading, Khan Academy returned my new text that said, all level four questions have been previously answered. I then knew I did all I possibly could for reading. You must do the same and utilize the website's full potential by targeting what you need. Khan is useful for learning personalization. Once I knew the tests and strengthened my weaknesses, the best thing I could do was continually take practice tests and learn from what I was missing. I have taken 14 practice tests and the SAT now seems like the back of my hand. Zach, I thank you for your time on the, on the show and for sharing your story. Do you have anything to say to your fellow Brickies? Just a simple score can have an amazing impact on your lives. So take up the opportunity to improve that score and start early. I made so much progress in just 15 months when I wasn't even practicing the entire time. Imagine if you had two or three years of practice under your belt. You need to invest your time in this website because it is extremely beneficial. But in order to do so, you must have the will and belief that you will improve. You don't have to practice every day, but when you do, be purposeful in what needs to be improved. Also, having a plan is key. Many say, well, I don't have time to do it. It's because you haven't given Khan a place in your time. Literally, have a plan to take one practice test every other week, and it will make a huge difference. And I know everyone has three hours to give up in a two-week period. Set dates and times and make it easy for yourself. You must use Khan Academy as a gateway for goals. If I didn't have the passion to improve my score, I wouldn't have improved. Good luck, guys. This has been the HTV Extra. Let's talk Khan. We'll see you in the next installment.